Hi, welcome to another episode of Comics Review. I'm your host, Kevin Starkey. The first comic I'm going to talk about today is Jack Avarice, The Courier. This is by IDW. This is issue number one. And before I get into it, I'm going to show you a clip. Um, IDW put out a sort of an ad, I guess, for this uh, comic. I'm going to play that right now. Okay, now I'll talk about the comic. Um, it's all written by Chris Mann, and the art is by Chris Mann. He does everything on this. And I've talked about other comics like that before, and I, I love, I love a comic that um, somebody, you know, like one guy is like in charge of everything. I think that's really cool. Um, the art style in this comic is. Um, is really cool. I really enjoy it. Um, neat style. And um, the writing in it's pretty good. And the story actually is, is quite good. Um, this guy Jack Avarice is um, he's sort of a slacker. A guy that sort of, he's a dreamer. He wants to be an adventurer but he's kind of lazy and he doesn't have much going in his life. And um, so it starts out they're showing you two different guys this other guy who I guess his name is like the fox or something all these guys have like catchy little um, like spy names or whatever um, so this guy the fox is like in Cuba and he's on some mission and and um, it's pretty exciting and it's kind of you know neat how they're comparing the two guys this is the guy that he wants to be kind of um, and it ends, I, I'm going to give a spoiler here, this is um, the first issue, so um, if you don't want to know how the first issue ends, um, then tune out for like 10 seconds or whatever. Um, these two guys meet, and the fox guy is killed right there in front of uh, Jack Avarice, and um, He's got to sort of take over this role as this uh, the courier, I guess, is, is his job. So um, it's kind of cool. I, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this. Um, they're coming out with them uh, one comic every week in the month of November, which is kind of a neat idea. So um, you better jump on board now if you're if you're looking to check it out. Um, I'm definitely gonna. Uh, get the rest of these. It's it's kind of a neat series. It's kind of fun. I'm gonna see where they're gonna go with it. All right, and that's from IDW. I think I mentioned that. Um, the next comic is The Last of the Greats, issue number two. It's from Image Comics, and um, I'm not sure if I talked about issue number one of this or not, but um, 
it's a pr the premise is like there's these beings that lived on earth who were like gods basically and something happened and they all got wiped out except for one of them and this one was sort of hidden and and um, some of the people who I guess uh, were friends with some of these gods they went looking for this other god this last of the of the greats to find him because they needed you know hum humanity needed some kind of help and so they found this this last guy and um, he's sort of evil and um, he's got one of these humans sort of helping him and um, it's kind of a neat story I, I don't know really where it's gonna go or anything um, the artwork I don't remember the artwork being like this in the first issue. Um, I, I would say it's a step down from the first issue. Um, it's okay. I mean, you know, I don't. I would rate it pretty poor. Um, two out of five. Wait, I, mean, I didn't rate this first one. Let me go back and rate that real quick. Five out of five. I love it. Definitely pick it up if you think you might be interested. Um, back to the uh, the last of the greats issue number two um yeah the artwork in here is crap as far as i'm concerned two maybe two out of five the story though is really cool um i'd rate the story well I, I don't know where it's going so it's hard to know exactly um but so far it seems pretty cool i'd say you know four or five out of five um and the writing is decent um maybe like three, three and a half. So I guess overall, uh, for this particular issue, I would say, and the cover is really nice. Uh, the artwork on the cover is a lot better than inside. Um, overall, I'd rate this issue maybe a, a three, I guess. The story is really strong and the writing's pretty good. So um, definitely um, check it out if you think you might be interested. I don't know how long of a series this is gonna be. If it's just like a short run or if it's gonna keep going, I'm not really sure. Um, now this comic I picked up on a whim. This is Six Guns by Marvel, issue number one of five. And it, in in the in the box at, or in the uh, rack at, at the comic shop, I could only see the top. So I was thinking, oh, Six Guns. This guy's got a cowboy hat. I was thinking it's some kind of western. I didn't really pick it up and look at the. There's motorcycles down here. Um, so it, it wasn't exactly what I was thinking. Um, it's like these bounty hunters and there's this girl in here who's, I think her name was Tarantula or something. And, um, these guys come and take, take her, you know, I don't know. It's kind of a weird story. <clears throat> this Tarantula girl is some kind of a super villain, I guess. And these two, like, Texas Ranger guys have her in the back of their sort of police car, but it's sort of a tough looking police car. And um, then these bikers show up and basically take, they can kill one of the cops or the rangers and take the girl as their prisoner and then they take off with her. And um, the one ranger vows to, you know, get her, get her back or get, get back at those bikers for killing his partner and get, and get the girl back. And um, I wasn't totally excited about the story as I was reading it, but by the time I got to the end, I thought maybe I'll check out the next issue. I mean, it's only a five issue series. I can at least check out the second one and see see what happens. Um, so I, uh, the artwork in here, uh, it's nothing to write home about. It's not, it's not knock your socks off artwork, but it's okay. Um, and the writing is, is fair. It's nothing spectacular. Um, I'd, I'd rate this so far, you know, issue number one, I'd rate it a, um, two and a half, three out of five, maybe. And finally, let's move on to the, the fourth comic here that I'm going to talk about. Seven Warriors. This is issue number one by Boom Studios. Now... I wasn't sure this 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 cover reminded me of another series. I think it had seven in the title. I can't even remember it. I think it was from Boom. Also, um, if I think of it, I'll, I'll mention it. Um, this well, the first page. It's one of three. Uh, by the way, 
Um, the first page I can't show you. It's it's sort of adult rated here on the first page. Um, not, nothing, you know, crazy. But uh, here's the second and third page. Um, it's it takes place in this you know, make believe land. Um, there's a queen and there's she has a son who's a prince, and um, her sort of village or, or whatever castle is about to be um, overtaken by a bunch of bandits or a bunch of bad guys and she's sending her son off with these seven female I guess it's six female warriors and I guess they they fear that their whole village and you know the, the royalty I guess the queen will be wiped out and she wants the royal bloodline to continue on so she's sending him to this village and he's supposed to find a wife there and um, and, and carry on the, the bloodline um, so uh, a lot of this is, is building up the story and the characters and um, it appears that he has a, a girlfriend in this town I think that's what's on the first page him sleeping with this girlfriend of his and so he's being forced to leave and she's she's not she's not acceptable I think to his mother and so I think that's that's why it's sort of a secret that he's with this girl she, they, they keep showing her uh, peeking around corners and listening in on on what's going on um, so he, I think he's upset they don't come out and say it but I, I'm pretty sure he he wants her to go with him and she wants to go she volunteers to go you know to help protect the prince and um, they sort of laugh at her and she's not she's not going but I'm guessing we'll find out that she snuck out and, and is, is going with them but so far that that didn't happen in this one so they end up going into these secret tunnels that are underground to escape and there's like booby traps and things like that under there so that's sort of where it's going um, so it's going to be like a, a journey of you know sort of like you know the first Lord of the Rings movie where this band of, of, of people are trying to get from point A to point B and they have a goal in mind and things like that so um, it's kind of cool there's only three issues but they're like three ninety nine each which is kind of pricey um, but it's a good story um, I'd like to rate this one really high too I think I'll rate this one a five out of five also um, quite good um, great artwork um, good story and good writing um, definitely like that one um, now I'll just go quickly go through the rest of my comics for this week um, that I haven't read yet uh, here's Kara's Magic number three from Aspen Comics um, Marksman this is number four of six from Image Comics um, American Vampire number 20 from Vertigo Comics um, Walking Dead Weekly number 44 um, the Strange Talent of Luther Strode, that's issue two of six from Image. Uh, the Rinse from Boom Studios, issue number three, yeah, three. And Moriarty, issue number six, The Lazarus tr Tree. And that's it for this week. Um, please leave a comment here on YouTube or over my blog at twodognight.net. Let me know what you're reading. Have you read any of the comics I talked about today? And I will see you next week. No, I won't see you next week. I'll see you in two weeks. Um, I got a big uh, dentist thing next week, so I definitely won't be able to do it um, next week. Um, but I will definitely make an effort to do it in two weeks. I will see you. Take care. Bye.